There are a few ways to create a new entry that contains photos, or to add photos to an existing journal entry. First, we're going to create a new journal entry using the camera here on the iPhone. So I'm going to tap the camera icon, and we can take up to 30 photos per entry. Notice that there's also a library button in the lower left that will allow us to select photos from there rather than take new ones. For this example, I'm going to switch back to the camera and take a couple photos which get added below. Tap Done and they're placed into a new entry. The cursor is placed above the first photo so I can add a title for the entry. Text can be added above or below the images in an entry, but I can't find a way to place text between images, which is something that I hope will be added in the future. Tap Done and the entry is saved. We can see it here in List View, and this is going to be the first one in this journal to also appear in Icon View. Notice that every photo is displayed in Icon View, not just one photo per entry. Tap on a photo here in Icon View, and it's going to jump directly to that photo in the entry. Notice here in Icon View, we can also create new entries from images in our photo library, or again using the camera. Photos can also be added to any existing journal entry using the Attachments button. Again, I can select as many as 30 images to add to the entry from my photos library. Tap All Media up here to browse all the albums in the photo library. Tap on the camera button in the lower right to take a photo and add it to the entry. I'm going to grab a couple images from the photos library here and add them into this entry. When I do that, I'm asked if I want to use the time and location of the photos, which in this case is from July 9, 2018. Tap Yes, and this entry now takes on that date. So here in List View, it's now at the bottom because this is now the oldest entry. In Calendar View, we can go back to July 2018 and see that the 9th is now highlighted in blue letting us know that there's an entry on that day. So this makes it easy to retroactively add journal entries for photos from the past and have them take on the correct date and time of the photos. Another great way to add entries with photos is to do it from the Photos app using the Day 1 Share extension. If I want to create a journal entry with some photos from this Glacier 2017 album, I can select the images that I want, and then tap the Share button. Notice that Day 1 is available as an extension in my Share Sheet. If you don't see Day 1 here, but have it installed on your device, tap the More button here, and just activate Day 1. Tap the Day 1 icon, and the photos are added to the entry in the selected journal. I can start adding a title and text from right here in the Photos app. Tap Save and now we can go take a look at this entry in the Day 1 app. Notice that it automatically takes on the date of the photos and is placed accordingly in the Day 1 timeline. Tap on an image in an entry to view it in full screen. From here we can also remove the photo from the entry by tapping on the trash icon. Tap over on the Info button to see location and camera metadata for the photo. Or tap the Share button up here to share only the photo, not the entire journal entry.